Welcome back to my Legacy Let's Play, where we are still here with Isaiah. We are currently on a family vacation. I just recorded about 10 minutes worth of clips, so you guys didn't miss much. So in the previous episode, if you guys recall, Ashley gave us a phone call. And you know, I never knew why she gave us a phone call until I went back to edit that video. She was basically saying like, hey, Isaiah, like, I want you to be my boyfriend, da 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 da. Then the next day she called us and she was like, hey, I had a baby. While I was editing last week's video, I recall Risky woohoo was on. And when Isaiah was getting married, he actually woohooed Ashley. So I think Isaiah has had a baby by Ashley. So now we need to go and check. But we got this pop up real quick. So let's flip this and get this out of the way. Heads. All right, Isaiah, you giving out your number? Fine. But I've already discovered it, guys. I will say Isaiah does have a baby. And if you open his profile, that's his daughter, Casey Coat. Isaiah had a daughter with Ashley. And that is why she was calling us. We look over at the genealogy panel. You see, you know, Corey, Isaiah, the two boys. You click on Casey. You see Ashley. And then look, who do you see right here? You guys recognize her from the previous episodes? This is Bridget. And she's married to Ramen. Or Ramin. I don't know how you say his name. But if anybody remembers Ramin, Isaiah had to crush on him for the longest, longest time. And now he couldn't get to Ramin. So he got to Ashley and made Ashley pregnant. And we're on a family vacation right now. Like I'm just discovering this right now on the family vacation. Like today's day one. Like we're supposed to be like, you know, catching up on our rest and everything. Yeah, we're discovering some secrets with Isaiah. Tell me that's not crazy. We've only been in the video for two seconds, guys. Let's get this family vacation out the way so we can go back home and meet our daughter. He needs some fun times together. So let's, can we play? Not feeling this. Corey does not seem to be enjoying this song. Should she decide to veto soul music? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. All right. Tell me time is not fun. But what is fun? Play peekaboo. Talk to Wade. Play peekaboo again. Oh, I Corey's getting a call. Remember when we talked about Orulo Robles? We went on a very nice date. Congrats, dude. I do not care. What's the baby doing? He has a dirty diaper. Why are we not like doing anything that I'm saying to do? So it's Isaiah's birthday today, and it's also Wade's birthday in zero days. Just so you guys are aware, uh, that's what I discovered today. Isaiah's wait, Isaiah, you know, he's almost there. Like, this kid is sleeping all day. Like, what? How much do you need to sleep for? Like, you're full. Your thing is full. Like, it's really four o'clock, and we're supposed to be com coming up playing and having fun on this family trip, like going hikes and stuff. Isaiah is literally, literally stuck. You're just putting him to sleep. His fun never even went up. I feel like aging him up to a toddler, but we don't have a toddler bed. You know, when it said explore the woods, I did not know I was going to be going with her because I also just took... Wait, what? Like, he's supposed to be out here exploring the woods, having fun. All right, Corey, you come over here and you grill some, some stuff. Lucas, hmm, what can you do in here that's, like, fun? But I thought there was just, like, some kind of secret... You know, like back in the day, the Sims used to do all those secret things. Oh, are you going all over there to collect that one insect? Okay, well, we're going to run around with Lucas, I suppose. I just thought that there was a cave. There you go. I thought there was a cave somewhere over here. I don't know why I couldn't think of cave. Like, that seems so simple. Whatever. I don't know what she's doing anyway. Oh, she's, she lit a fire. What is Isaiah? Uh, not Isaiah. What is Lucas doing? Come roast some... Some hot dogs. All right, let's go back to the cabin. It's 8.30. It's raining. Let's go have fun with Isaiah and the baby, you know? Like, they're all just at home bored. Or they're at the cabin bored. Come on, y'all. Why are you sitting down? You're barely right here roasting the the hot dog? Go home. Or go to the cabin. Go leave this place. Oh, he's dancing? He's getting jiggy with it. Look at him. Oh, he's getting jiggy with it. Go, baby! Go, Wade, man! Hitting all those notes. Alright, you need to come over here and take you a shower. 
All right, let's make Isaiah a cake, because, you know, it's his birthday. Whatever. He's about to be an old man. We actually need to feed. Oh, he's on his back. He's getting down. I'm telling her to go feed Wade. Resume the chocolate cake. Why are you sad for? Because you ain't talking to nobody. Why would you go down here and talk to the baby? <laughs> that was crazy. All right, put him down. You're psychotic just like your dad. Oh my gosh. Put him down. Get over here and resume the chocolate cake. You get over here. Entertain. Play peek poo Talk. The baby is asleep on the ground, guys. The baby passed out. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Is it okay to eat dirt? Tails. If you do, kids may tease you. Uh, adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those life goals. You already eating the cake. Wow, like, you couldn't wait for him to blow the candles out so you can eat the cake right away. If you don't put him in... If somebody doesn't put him in this carrier... It's 2.30 in the morning. Why is it so hard to put this kid in the, the crib? Alright, we're finally making some progress. He's in there. What is he doing? Oh, he's just outside. Somebody turn this music off while the baby is literally trying to sleep. Like, Corey, you reading a book. You you don't even read, Corey. It, look at you on vacation reading. Like, come on now. I said, how about you come have some bonding time with your son? Why don't you chit-chat with him? Tell funny stories. Tell the wedding story. Where are you going? Why are you going to sleep? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you going to the bed to cry when he's literally trying to talk to you? No, get over here. Like, he feels like he don't got no attention. But as soon as I'm trying to give him the attention, he's walking away. Makes no sense. He still feels quite sad. He's, you know, he's neglected. He doesn't have no attention from his family. And Stinking Cory wants to be reading books right now. Ain't that crazy? Oh, it's summer! Oh my gosh, he's up. He's up. Why is he not? Oh my god, because who turned radio back on? The only person who turned it on was Ben Cory. She's the only one in the house. All right, there you go. He's sleep again. Cory, don't put that radio back on because then he can't sleep. Why is everybody sad? Like, why are you sad? Purpose of life from, from unfulfilled dreams. We go from vacation today, huh? How do you see how long the vacations is? Because today's already Sunday. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's tired. Yeah, I should have never stayed up all night. Like, Corey is literally asleep right here outside on a foldable couch when it's a bed in there. Like, go, just go to sleep. She didn't even continue the scrambled egg. She just left it on the stove so the house can burn on fire. Make it make sense. He's angry. Losing control. Like, Corey, literally, all you had to do was flip it one more time. Come grab a serving. You're not eating no cake for breakfast, kid. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Sh embarrassing showing. From playing horseshoes. You're embarrassed from playing horseshoes with your father. Okay. Isaiah, why are you acting like if you're not in a cabin right now? Like, go to the bathroom. Go take a nap. There's food everywhere. Oh my god. Turn this. I swear it's Corey turning on the thing. Turn on the radio. Because every time she comes out here, the radio's on. Change the diaper. Today's his birthday too, so... Maybe we'll just age him up. Because we should be going home today for vacation. Age up! He's going to be a big old toddler. Woo! Alright. Let's see what trait Wade is going to get. Clingy! Oh. These shy toddlers avoid sims outside the household and get sad if left behind. They gain extra skill when taught, and they recover faster from bad moods when comforted. All right, what's wrong with Wade? He's tired, but he doesn't have a bed. I can't put Wade in here. So let's just throw ahead and throw that in the inventory. Why? Where are you going? Nap. Nap. Like, if I didn't just tell you to put the baby over here, because there's no... Because Wade can't sleep in this. I mean, the baby has to sleep on the couch. He's taking a nap. What is this? Ask for a bath? No. You need to take another nap. What can you do? 
with your brother. All right. Uh, it's good to hear your voice, Isaiah. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Faya Harris a little better as a friend. They seem like a good company. Now, didn't we already, like, establish this? Like, didn't he, the other person call and ask about you? I'm looking for the spinner. We're going to do the three. We're going to do the three number spin. So let's do a countdown. One, two, three, spin. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, spin. That spun really slow, like, let's do that again. Hello? Number one, I think you should go for it. Corey, you walking around here so sad and depressed, like, get out of my face. Oh my gosh, Isaiah, your phones were going up again. Jonathan is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. We're on a vacation. Hey, Isaiah, oh my God. okay, I guess we're going, I guess we're going. Like, what? We're on vacation. Hey. Oh! Oh, we're just getting naked now. Like, this is Jonathan's... <laughs> this is his house right here. I remember I told you as I moved him out of that little thing. So he invited us over for what? Relax? What does that even mean, relax together? Oh, just boys being boys. They're not going to talk. They're just going to lay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, so look, it didn't, it didn't even work. Why did you invite me over here? Like, I don't know what we're doing here. Like, if I hit the go home button, we're not going to go back to vacation. <laughs> I just told him to go home and the house is on fire. Oh, wow. I said, you're not going to have him put the fire out. Put the fire out. And I said, he's outside. You know, I wish the entire house could set on fire, like, burn on fire. And like, you have to restart your whole house. Like, wouldn't that be sick? Bye, Jonathan. We're just at home now, but, like, the family's still on vacation. Like, what is happening? How, how long do you see when the vacations are? On vacation till when? Where is he at? Oh, he's right here showing off his struts. Oh, he's gonna go find Isaiah, huh? Chat. Oh, Isaiah's standing outside. I want the vacation to end so we can go find our baby. Angry. You're always angry. Corey, just fulfill your dreams, man. Oh my gosh, like, let me see his... Open profile. So, good friends. Okay, so... His sentiments with Isaiah is ignored. But does he have any sentiments with Corey? He has none with Corey. That's because they're only acquaintances. Strict mother. Like, that's it. He clearly has a better relationship with Isaiah, and Isaiah is doing nothing to make him feel good. And look at him over here being bad. Corey and Wade have a difficult family dynamic. Let's go. She does not like Isaiah, so we're going to chew him out. Do you think we can make Corey so angry that she dies? Oh, Wade hates being carried. Oh, oh, they're no longer best friends. Whoa. Whoa. I just want to see if I can get Corey so mad that she does. We're not going to try for long, but, you know, a few more interactions. Oh, she's not angry no more. Okay, I guess it, does, it doesn't matter. Wait, their thing turned all the way red? Hold on. Wait, what? Their thing turned all the way red. I didn't even notice that. It's very awkward. They drive each other crazy, but they also drive each other crazy. Personal rift, hurt. Oh. I don't actually even know what happened. Okay, let's apologize. I did not even know. Little singer. Uh, Wade really loves to sing. Tell her to our little singers enjoy singing and tend to sing at random times throughout the day. And he got the imagination skill, and he loves sounds. Wade is just over here thriving. While their mom and dad is not thriving. He's outside making a mess, being bad. And we have sentiments with Corey. Let's see. Like, where's Lucas at? Because this whole family is just falling apart right here. Because I just feel like, imagine if Corey died. I'm just saying. Maybe we'll get a dog in the next episode. I just really want everybody to go to sleep. And I think Corey is going to go upstairs and sleep in a different bed. We got bills. 
Who's calling this little boy? I heard you became good friends with Corey. She's pretty cool. Stop calling our phone. You weirdo. Alright, so this is our last day of vacation. Our little book right here is lighting up. Our sentiments with who? Oh, Lucas. Let's see. So Isaiah's sentiments about Lucas is adoring. Lucas sentiments about Isaiah's he's being ignored, you know, strict, good friends. Everybody's just getting leftover cake. That is crazy. Some people love art, but everyone loves a popular artist. You're the talk of the town. Start painting and I bet you'll you'll be considered a visionary in no time. I know just the tricks you need to bootstrap your artistic journey. How about joining the paint painter career as a canvas creator rank five? I've never had any, I have literally never had any Sim get offered this amount of jobs before. Like who the heck is Isaiah? And we're accepting it. Wow. We're accepting the job offer. Okay. We're, we need to be painting level six. So we're gonna have to go home and paint, paint, paint away. Let's come out here with Isaiah, or let's come out. Let's have Isaiah come out and hang out with Lucas. Another job offer, two in one video. A chef. Okay, let's see. Tells, we're not accepting this one. Okay, sorry, we're declining you. Oh my gosh. Corey's getting job offer. Criminal at heart, okay. Is Corey trying to join the criminal career? What the f- She's not, okay. Or I think you need a new job though. Everybody is so angry. I want to go home and do rebate day so I can buy stuff and I get my money back and pay my bills. Like, come on, let's go home when the vacation gonna end. Four hours left on this vacation. We're literally leaving at midnight. That's crazy. Why are we leaving at midnight when we need to be leaving right now at six o'clock? We're missing rebate day. Okay, we're just gonna go home. We're gonna wait for the vacation to end. We're gonna wait for the vacation to end and let's go. We still got 15 minutes of rebate day. Let's buy some stuff. I wanna buy a whole new house. Like I wanna move the family. I wanna get a new TV because I want us to get a game station so we can play with Lucas. And wait when he waits older all right guys i got a bunch of stuff so i got this little kids thing i got a pool, uh, ping pong table i got the easel of course because we need to paint now you go upstairs to the kids room honestly i only got this because i thought the kids could play with some blocks i feel like that could be fun i think he can build with it afterwards let's get you practicing some painting all right Isaiah, you're hungry are these expired? I don't, how do we even get these hot dogs? Like, who made this? Corey. Okay, well, let's get some leftovers. And let's go upstairs and go to sleep. I don't know if Corey's going to be interested in sleeping in the same bed with Isaiah. Oh my, and the bills are due. Does he have work today? He has work in four hours. Is he tired? But once he goes to work and come back, he's going to be all exhausted. All right, let's modify and cast. And I'm going to end off the episode today. At, at this. Oh, is that his grade school clothes? Okay, well, we're gonna edit Wade's outfits because I haven't done that yet. All right, guys. I just did Wade a little makeover. But guess what? I'm gonna make you guys see it in the next episode. This has been Breezy, and I'll see you guys. Peace.